With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is a cylinder of 5 litre capacity filled with air at NTP is connected with another evacuated cylinder of 30 litre capacity. The resultant air pressure in both the cylinders will be... Okay. So, uh, the volume V1 is given to you as 5 litres, right? And the volume V2 will be... Now, as it is connected with another cylinder of 30 litre, so the volume becomes 30 plus 5, which is 35 litres, okay? The pressure P1, now at NTP, at NTP, the pressure is in ATM is actually equal to 1 ATM. And if we talk about in Pascals, this is equal to 101.325 kilopascals, right? Which is equal to 760 mm of Hg or you can say 76 centimeter of Hg, right? So, at NTP, the pressure in ATM is 1 ATM in kilopascal. This value in mm Hg 760 in centimeter Hg 76. So, in different units, the values are different. So, um, we are going to consider it in centimeter Hg, right? So, the pressure P1 is given to you as 76 centimeter of Hg. So, basically, you have to find out the value of P2 from here. Now, according to Boyle's law, pressure is inversely related to volume, right? Pressure is inversely related to volume or you can say that PV is a constant. So, if you have two pressures in volumes, it can be written as P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2, right? So, P1 is 76, V1 is 5 divided by V2 which is 35 is going to give you the value of P2. So, from here P2 will come out to be 10.8 centimeter of Hg, right? So, this is the resultant air pressure in both the cylinders and that's the correct answer for the question. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.